Well, we learned earlier how to multiply and divide integers and fractions and all those things. And what we needed to remember was if you're multiplying two negatives, you're going to end up with a positive. If you're multiplying a negative times a positive or a positive times a negative, your answer is going to be negative. And, of course, two positives equals a uh, positive. And remember the, the song, if you want to be cool and stay in school, learn your divide and multiply rule. Same sign, answer is positive. Different sign, answer is negative. Or you can just remember that you will always have either zero or two negatives. And we also learn some addition rules. And remember, addition rules, we can do the row, row, row your boat song. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Take the sign of the largest number, then you'll be exact. Or you can say, take the sign of the furthest number, then you'll be exact. What I mean by furthest is furthest from zero. So, for example, here, if we're adding these two, we're adding two negatives, same signs, add and keep. And what that means is we're going to add four and seven, and we're not worried about whether or not they're positive or negative now, which equals 11. And add and keep means we keep the sign. So it's a negative 11. We have a negative six and a four here. This is different signs we would subtract. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Take the sign of the furthest number, negative 2. And so on. Now we also learn that we can only apply this row, row, row your boat song with addition. If we have subtraction, we have to change it to an addition song. Or excuse me, change it to an addition problem by using keep, change, change. And what we do, or we can also say keep, change and flip and then we apply the addition song which is up here so for example if we had something like negative 8 minus a 4 we can't use that we have to change that to keep we keep it 8 negative 8 plus a negative 4 then we apply our song same signs add and keep well that applies there we have the same sign so we add these two which is 12 and we keep our sign. Not only is this true with integers, but it's also all these rules are the same for decimals, integers, two integers, um, fractions, mixed numbers, improper fractions, and so on. And they apply to both adding and subtraction. So you have to decide what operation you're performing. Multiplication, division, subtraction, or addition. And apply what rule goes. And as long as you know those, you can do any size problem. It doesn't matter. So let's move on to a few examples here. And on some of the longer ones, I'm going to use a calculator. Now, you're obviously not allowed to use a calculator in class. But for the sake of time, I want to show you how to do them and show you what the final answer will be. You will, in turn, have to multiply it out yourself, though. Here we have negative 8 plus a negative 9. Well, let's remember our song. Same signs, add and keep. So we're going to add 8 and 9, which is 17. Same signs, add and keep. We're going to keep our negative sign. So the answer is negative 17. 2. Same signs, add and keep. Well, that doesn't apply, so we have to do different signs because this is a negative and this is a positive, so we're going to have to subtract. 12 minus 9, and keep in mind, once we do this, once we apply our song and figure out what operation we're going to perform, we have to subtract just the, don't worry about the signs, and we just subtract 12 from 9, which is 3. Take the sign of the furthest number, or the largest number, in this case, it's going to be 12, and that's a negative. 6 plus a negative 5. Same signs, add and keep. Well, we don't have same signs, so we have different signs. This is a 6. This is a negative 5. Different signs subtract. So 6 minus 5 is 1. Take the sign of the larger number, or furthest number, which is 6. That's a positive, so the answer is 1. Number four, same signs, add and keep. Okay, well, actually, we'll have to, um, excuse me, I apologize. 
this is a subtraction problem, so we have to change it to an addition problem in order for us to apply the sum. Now again, if you know that negative 17 minus 20 is a negative 37, then you don't have to deal with that. But if you're having a hard time with it, what you're going to have to do is change that to an addition problem by using keep, which makes that negative 17, change to a positive, change this to a negative. Then we have negative 17 plus 20. Now we can apply our song. Same signs, add and keep. So we're going to add 17 and 20, which is 37. And we're going to keep, same size, add and keep our negative sign. Okay. Again, here we have subtraction. Well, we can't apply the song there. And again, if you know that 6 minus 14 is negative 8, well, more power to you. But if you're having a hard time with that, again, we have to keep change and flip and some of you may be able to just memorize the fact that 6 minus 14 is the same thing as 6 plus a negative uh, 14 but regardless we're going to keep change and flip same signs add and keep well that doesn't apply here we have different signs so we're going to subtract 14 or take 14 and subtract 6 the answer is going to be 8 take the sign of the furthest number the furthest number from 0 is negative 14 on a number line our answer is negative 8. Here, again, we've got to keep change and flip. This is going to change to negative 4 plus 3. Same signs, add and keep. That doesn't apply. Different signs, subtract. So we're going to have 1. Take the sign of the larger number, which is 4, and you'll be exact. Or you could remember the shortcut and just go ahead and change that into a negative 3 plus, um, or excuse me, negative 4 plus 3, and apply the song there. Again, we can apply our shortcut here by connecting the two minus signs and using that parentheses. Now we've got a 6 plus 9. Well, in this case, we really don't have to apply a song because we've known since the first grade that 6 plus 9 is 15. Now, we're dealing with decimals. Well, our same rule still apply. We're adding here, so we can apply our song already. Same signs, add and keep. Okay? 8.17 plus 3.14 is 11.31. And on your own paper, you're going to have to add this out long ways. But for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator here. Same size, add and keep the sign. Answer is negative 11.31. We're, again, we're adding same signs, add and keep. Well, that doesn't apply. Different signs, we're going to subtract. So 13.7 minus 12.78 is 0.92. Same size, add and keep. Different size, we just subtracted. Take the sign of the furthest number, negative 0.92. 7.146 minus 13.72. Well, that's a subtraction problem. We have to change that to an addition. So that changes to keep 7.146, change, and flip. Same signs, add and keep. Different signs, subtract. So 13.72 minus 7.146 equals 5, excuse me, 6.57. Four, take the sign of the larger number or furthest number, which is negative. Negative 6.574. We have to change this to an addition problem. Keep, change, and flip this to a 21.8 because it was a negative. Now it's a positive. Or you can just apply the shortcut either way. Now, same signs, add and keep. Well, that doesn't apply here. Different signs, subtract. So 21.8 minus 
6.72 equals 15.08. Take the sign of the furthest number, which is 21.8. We have a positive 15.08 or 15.8. Now we have some multi uh, multiplication, and we've done these before, but we're going to do this really quickly. A negative times a negative is always a positive. So 17 times 4 equals 68. We only have room for two or zero negatives. In this case, we've already got our two, so the answer is 68. Now you can go on down your multiplication ones and go ahead. We know that this is a negative times a positive is a negative. We know that a negative times a positive again is a negative. We know that a negative or positive times a negative is a negative. And we also know that a negative times a positive is a negative. So all these are going to be negative because we only had room for two minus signs. And we can't just have one or you can just apply your multiplication song. If you want to be cool and stay in school, learn your divide and multiply rule. Same sign answer is positive. Different sign answer is negative. So we have... 21.7 times 0.78. You multiply that out. You don't have to worry in this case about uh, counting over your decimals. The answer is going to be 16.92. And remember, you got to multiply that out, and it's negative. You apply that same logic here, and that's going to be uh, negative 7.5. And again, I'm going to let you work out the math yourself. Now, we have fractions here. And we know fractions, we just multiply across. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Our answer is negative 1 over 6. Now, divide, we have to do several steps here. First of all, we have to change this to a mixed number. Or excuse me, an improper fraction. And again, we already know our answer is going to be negative. So we got to change this to... 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11 over 2. And remember, it's still negative. Divided by 3 over 4. Well, we can't just divide across. We have to cross, uh, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. So that becomes negative 11 over 2 times 4 over 3. 11 times 4 is 44 over 6. I think the number that those have in common is 2. So 2 will go into 44 22 times, and it will go into uh, 6 3 times. Now, we're not done because we know that this is negative because we had it right here, but we have to change this to a mixed number. 3 will go into 22 7 times without going over. Our remainder is 1 over 3. Our answer is 7, negative 7 and 1 third.